Just getting set up here, guys. Looks like I gotta continue where I left off. I kinda didn't save it, I think. So I'm just back a little bit further. Won't take me long to get back to where I was, though. Kind of a good recap. Just letting everybody know I'm up. We're live. No idea audio is, guys. If you're out there, I'm just bringing up the stream myself. YouTube. channel up let's get that hey Zach attack how you doing welcome stream man we're just bringing everything up here I'm going to bring up all right uh, let's see so I can see the twitch chat coming in as well I'm zoomed in on that part of the screen so I can see it all right so we got to continue where we left off last time so we're a bit behind where we were. So we will continue. Uh, I can see the chat. Everything's booming in. Hey, Minecraft, how you doing? I think we're good. Everything looks good to me. Yeah. I'm going to mute this stream, though. Let me. There we go. We're muted on this side. I can see chat booming in. All right, let's uh, let's continue where we left off. Hey guys, we got a few enemies to kill. We got to do the T Rex over again. I thought I saved the game. I sw I swore I, I actually did. Whatever, not a big deal. The live chat again. Drop a like, guys, if you can. That'll help me out a ton. And I'm dropping my own like. There we go. All right. Let's go. Yeah, this is a bonus stream, guys. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a stream, but the wife looked at me and she's like, go stream. You know? So I wasn't going to argue with it. Playing some Chrono Trigger again tonight, of course. Uh, going through the game. New Game Plus. Always a great game. Let me know how the audio sounds, Minecraft, if you could. If I'm not mistaken, we do this one. And that makes everyone fall. And then we run up here. And we don't need that at all. There we go. Gotta do those two fights over again, though, but it's not a big deal. What would I say if my teachers caught me watching your stream while in class? Tell them this is, um, this is a history lesson. And that, uh, you know, you have my permission. Appreciate your dedication, no Zach Attack. That's awesome. Watching it in class. Hopefully I don't get you <laughs> in trouble. We're just going to fly through this. We're not going to say what they're saying because we have already done this. Kind of a good recap, though. Swerb. How you doing, Swerb? How's things? Hope you're having a good Saturday. We are playing on the real hardware today, guys. This is my official cart with my official system on the old CRT TV. The only thing that's wireless is this guy, the 8 bit uh, SN30, which is awesome. So we're going to do this boss, and that'll get us pretty much to where we were last time. I'll make sure I save it this time. I don't know why I didn't save it. It's kind of confusing. Doing well, man. Doing well. Uh, been having a lot of fun with Lethal Company, Swerve. Uh, no question. We got to get you uh, modded up so we can get you back into the game. I'm gonna go ahead and blow this guy away. Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna charm him. I think I can get something off of him that's good. Maybe. Does he give something? Magic tab. Yeah, he does. Okay. And then we got the T-Rex, of course. So we're gonna charm him as well. See if we get something off him. I don't remember what he gives. Power tap. Okay, so now we got our we got our stuff. We're gonna go ahead and blow them away now. We we'll go ahead and open up a beer here, guys. Cheers to anybody out there. Would you rather have your money up or your funny up? You can get pretty far in life with a sense of humor, further than a little bit of money. We're gonna go ahead and luminaire this guy. Thinks we need to make him weak. I'm going to triple kick him right in the face. 
Yeah, four people after watch. Appreciate you guys joining us. I didn't share this anywhere. It's always a bonus when I see some people pop by. This guy will drop his defense here in a second, which will be good for us. That's what we're waiting for. He'll do that when he's charging his uh, ability. I can probably use a lightning. Does that do it early? I don't think it does. 35, yeah, it's still gonna wait. Come on, dude. I killed him too fast. There we go. All right, now he's gonna die a horrible death. Triple kick. Frog squash? No. We gotta do a water two on him, unfortunately. Oh, leap slash. Let's do it. Just keeping an eye on the Twitch side this time. So I don't miss the Twitch side. Last time I had somebody join up on the Twitch side and I didn't see it. But now I can see the uh, Twitch chat as well. It's got a lot of health, actually. It's such a great looking boss, though, for sprite work. It's just incredible. What's my... What's the like goal for this stream? Oh, man. You know what? I'd be happy if we got to... I'd love to get 20. But, man, YouTube is just not sharing out stuff. It's like, shares it out to my immediate... But nobody knew, you know what I mean? I get nobody new on a stream, ever. It's just like... I mean... Honestly, I'm not streaming for new people. Streaming is for you guys, and for me. And, uh, yeah, if I could get to 20, it would be fantastic, because that's where I find YouTube really starts to push it out a little further. Alright, so we got him killed. Which is all an illusion. No, it can't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll blow through this because we've already done this in our playthrough. I keep getting four, and then it drops to three. <laughs> if I need to get closer, I'll get a little bit closer. Here we go. Bring this over a little bit. And bring it up. So I can actually see what the heck's happening. There we go. Skip by this. I don't think we can skip by the cutscenes. Nah, that was more of an advanced thing that happened eventually. Like, you can skip by a cutscene. So yeah, the, um... I might end up doing a Lethal Company stream this week as well. We've streamed a lot in the past week. We've streamed three times. Which um, has been a lot of fun. It's certainly been fun to be able to come back to some of these older games as well. Alright, Isla. We're not on composite here, are we? I'm to switch my input. There we go. I'm wondering why the color definition was off. I've got it... Um, I can actually switch between composite and um, RGB at the same time, which is crazy. Got to set up for both. Yeah, yeah, no, Zach Attack, uh, the amount of subs you have have nothing to do with your live streams, it seems. Um, some of them, are, I guess, are dead subs and really don't come back. And uh, we've had situations happen where I've had 800 subs and I've had 65,000 people show up. So it's just, it's just really the content, really. If I were to stream something like, um, my God, Pal World or something like that, I'd probably get a lot more people. That's just the way it goes. I'm happy either way. I'm not going to complain about that. Nothing I can do to control that. That's the way it is. Heading back to Zeal here, guys. Alright, we're just blowing through this part. Get back to Zeal. We'll fly through that part. We'll probably get... I would say we'll get to the Black Omen, I would say, tonight. Hopefully. Black Omen. That would be good. Then it would be one more episode to basically finish off the rest of it. Then it'll be done, man. Yeah, 
Yes, it's a gate. And we're gonna go in it. Feels right, you got your hat on? Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that there, sorry. Yeah, no, I gotta put a hat on sometimes, right? It's part of it's part of my avatar. It's part of my personality. Got to. Alright, out we go. I love this area. My favorite part of the game here, guys. Kingdom of Zeal. I'm actually going to go around and talk to people in this area because it's just so awesome. There we go. My favorite music in the game. Inhasa. Welcome to Inhasa, the magical kingdom of Zeal. We find the truth in the bliss of sleep, dear me, and who might you be? I love what this guy says. This is the eternal kingdom of zeal, where dreams come come true, but at what price? Strange visitors, welcome to zeal. Is this part of a dream? Queen zeal rules our magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty and greatness. Queen has given us everything. After the king died, she nurtured magic. She has advanced the kingdom. Boy. Tis a sullen lad. What's wrong? That animal good food. Boy. The black wind howls. One let's see. One amongst you will shortly perish perish. Yep. Urchin halt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's but I knoweth not what this portends. What an unpleasant lad. Strange one, but not bad boy. Spring of Recovery. Heal your mind and body here. We'll do that. Right, we're going to exit this area now. And down we go. Hope you guys are all having a great Saturday, man. It's uh, always nice to be able to play some old games on the weekend. Like I did back in the day. Especially this one. That next year... Next year, this is going to be 30 years old, which just blows my mind. Ah, look at this area. It's gorgeous, man. Kajar. It's the magical city of Kajar. We do experiments for the queen. Power different differs from ours. In you I sense a strange aura of kindness. Combine the ancient rainbow shell and the sunstone to create incredible weapons and items. But now only the guru of life has that skill. Elemental power usage is forbidden. Ah, uh, plants are so content. I wish I could be as well. Let's talk to the new. Construction of the Ocean Palace is behind schedule. Eternal Palace beneath the waves, it'll be a sight when it's done. The Ocean Palace lies deep beneath the waves. I know it does. Alright, let's head out. Working on a tab that will bat boost magical skill. But my precious products have been disappearing lately. Must be that naughty new that hid hid them. They love pranks. What do you and what can I do? I had the scratch point. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I don't know the details, but I heard he has uncanny powers. We'll leave here now. And away we go.
This whole area here is just stunning. Look at that. Unbelievable. I used to actually just AFK here and just watch it. Sinister music starts. It's the Queen's Palace, the center of the Zero Kingdom, which makes this the center of the universe. A little bit of a superiority complex there. Could you scratch my back? Sure. Boom, um, thanks. You got it. Phew. News scratch point. I could go back and do some magic tabs with that. Wandering Prophet is amazing. All of his prophecies have come true. It's as if he knows the future. How eerie. Head in to look at the Mammon machine here. Heading up through the middle here now. We've talked to enough people. We gotta go over to the right. That's where Shala comes out, I think. Oh, yeah. Gotta listen to this theme. It's too damn good. Shala. Oh, you're back, Janice. Is something wrong? Black wind. You feel it too? Don't worry, it'll be alright. Now hold on to this. What is it? It's a kind of amulet. It, if something should happen, it'll protect you. Wish I could be with you always, but Mother has other plans. She's not our mother. She looks like our mother, but inside she has changed. Still, I can't, Janice. I'm sorry. Excuse me, Highness. Queen asks for your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. All right. Well, Janice, I'll be going. Oh, who might you be? Miss Shala, please hurry. If you're late, I'll be punished. Oh yes, I'm sorry. She's pretty tragic. Go away. She's not happy. But this all makes sense if you haven't played it. She goes. Let's charge our amulet now so we can do the same thing. Now we can open all the sealed boxes and doors throughout the game. Just like that. And that's the amulet that screwed us up in the beginning and made us go back in time. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, these are the evildoers I warned you of. How dare you think you could oppose me, you foreigners. You're worse than the gurus. Fools, Dalton, take them away. Yes, ma'am, by your leave. Gollum. Smeagol. Let's see if we can charm this guy and get something off him. I'm not sure if he gives us anything. Let's see. Magic tab? Well, that's not bad. A couple of these will wipe him out, though. Absolutely destroy him. We'll do a leaf slash, then we'll do a luminaire, and then we'll do a triple kick. You just don't want to do two of the same attack in a row is basically what it comes down to. 
which I'm not going to do. I always do different elementals on this guy. It should kill him, though. That should be it for him. Copy into Alton. Yeah. Brings us down to 1 HP, I think. Ah, oh, don't, don't really do anything. That's not a big deal. Alright, let's get our filter messages coming through. Hey, man, still playing Chroma Trigger, I see. Yeah, absolutely, Robocop. How you doing, man? And uh, thanks for becoming a member again. Appreciate you, dude. Saw that come up, and uh, yeah, looks good on you, brother. Mwahaha, fear not, you won't die immediately, that is. But by the time we're through with you, you'll be bagging us to end your life. What a delicious diversion. She's a bit psycho. The music's back again. My favorite music in the game. Hmm, idiots. What will you do, Shala? Let us rescue them. I think it's useless. Besides, if they escape, you'll be in trouble. Don't worry about me. They just might be able to rescue the gurus. Are you all right? Quickly escape from the palace. If you can, please rescue Melquire. Or Michler. Or Mich I don't know. I call him Melquire. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the Queen. Please, you have to help him. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. You mustn't. Stop. It's funny. It, this don't make sense to some of you. Prophet says, okay, I'll spare them. And in return, you will cooperate, Shala. Now show me where you, how you came here. Hmm, so you came through here. Now, Shala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. No, you can't make me. Obey me, their lives are at stake. I, uh, oh, all right. She agrees, reluctantly. It's rough, man. I love the chanting that she does. The animation behind it is so freaking cool. Please forgive me. She's such a tragic princess. Brutal, man. When are you going to stream Red Dead 2 again? Well, that was a bounty, uh, Robocop. So I'm not sure if I will or not. I'm not sure. Um, it'll be in the future at some point. Um, yeah, it's a very demanding game for my uh, streamer perspective. But I will probably... Once I start playing it again. I have no idea. That's the answer. I have no idea, man. All right, so we got to head there next. Yeah, yeah, it was a bounty. Uh, so somebody actually forwarded me the CD key. Yep. Yeah, in the Discord, you can put bounties on games. And uh, the more attractive the bounty, the more willing I am to obviously take my time and play a game or whatever. If I have the game... If I have the game, then it's just a monetary value of, like, my time, right, to play something. People can team up together on bounties. But if I don't have the game, then the game needs to be purchased from the people that want me to play it. Because I can't pay for every single game that everybody wants to play all the time, because it's just, I'll go bankrupt. But it's really cool. The rules are in the Discord. But yeah, basically I'll play anything on our bounty. It's just that, is it going to be worth my time, right? <laughs> that's, that's what matters. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. we got to head to the future here now. Let's go over here, though, and uh, we're going to save our game as well if I haven't already. Probably haven't. No, I haven't. There you go. That was a good idea. Protodome. Protodome? Yes, we're going to Protodome.
Protodome, then we gotta head through the sewers, which we're gonna be super overleveled for. And that will give us the Epoch. Should we take the bike back? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Take the bike back across. Kind of got to, right? This cool mode 7 part. Oof. This is so random. This is like an RNG race. Even if you bounce, he still catches up with you. There it is. Beat him. That looks really good over there. So friggin' cool. So I got these new sh shadow boxes over here as well. You probably see them. I'm just pointing at them over here on the wall here. Freaking look awesome. The guy locally makes them. I got uh, Duck Hunt, Super Mario Kart, and Super Mario World, and Frostbite as well for Atari. Right, out we go. We're heading to the Mountain of Woe through the Sewer Access. Abandons must report to Sir Crawley. So we're ridiculously overleveled for this part. You can actually come through our, here at like level 12. So it's just basically the fights are just a minor annoyance at this point. You got the funny little parts though. The little, little frog dudes. There was a bridge here. I saw it, Ribbit. Fool Gribbit. There's nothing here. But it's true, Ribbit. Someone's coming. Let's scram, Gribbit. Love it. Bad place, much danger. Oh, you'll be a fine, eh? Isla. You got this. So basically, this part's actually, this part is mechanically funny. Everything here makes a sound and activates a, a fight. Even that, like, kick the can into the garbage can. And this, this cheese here, right? And even the save state that's there has a little noise, activates a fight. It's, it's kind of a cool gimmick. So we can get around most of this, though. It's actually a secret here as well. We'll open up with. It's just kind of like a little mini area. It's nothing major. There we go. And they're here again. The, the little frog dudes. Press the switch and the bridge opens ribbit. So switch on, ribbit. Ribbit. It's out of reach, ribbit. You call yourself a frog, ribbit, gribbit. Someone's coming. Let's scram, gribbit. He's the boss. Boss and the underling. So this guy's just gonna absolutely destroy it. Three of them, they're almost here. Coming through the sewer like they own it. They must have a death wish. We shall teach them a lesson. Let's show them. Hee <laughs> hee. Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver. Ha 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 ha. Hee hee hee. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Hee 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 hee. Bro, I'm here. Huh? Oh, let's blow them up. Uh, Robocop says, did you check out the game I recommend on Discord called Fortune's Run? Fortune's Run. It's quite interesting. It's a blend of Star Wars and... Deus Ex. Games out on early access with one giant level. No, Robocop, I, I did see the trailer, though. 
I haven't checked out the game itself, though. But it looked really good. Really good. Actually, uh, Deus Ex, uh, Human Rev not Human Revolution, but the one that came out after that, was just free on Epic Games yesterday. So I managed to snag it for free, which is pretty cool. Why that's happening? Silly ads. All right, out we go. All right, so we're where we need to be now. Man, yeah, man, count divided. It, uh, it was free. You definitely, uh, Rubble. You need to keep an eye on Epic Games. There's often free games, man, and some of them are just outstanding games. Please do not disturb my slumber. Okay, man. Pendant shimmers. This music's super sad. Huh? To those that open the door, I am Bethazar, the guru of reason. I once lived in the kingdom of Zeal. Great disaster in Zeal somehow threw me to this era. To my surprise, Lavos exist here, and I suspect in other periods as well. Aeons, or eons ago... Lavos descended from the heavens, burrowing deep into the world's core. He began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claims this area and reigns from a high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate like a giant parasite. He is consuming our world. I've put 70 hours into that already, constantly replaying levels in multiple ways, Robocop says. Yeah, it's uh, an amazing game, for sure. I have not played that one. I played the first one and loved it. Human Revolution. How long till I return home? But I have grown frail. So you, you have opened a door. I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. Open now the last door and take what you find there. My latest invention. My wings of time. There it is. This moves through time. What this thing? I was, I was blown away by this game, guys, when I first played it. In fact, you get your own time machine. Like, it just blew my mind, right? Like, just to be able to go back and forth through the eras and all that. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. Copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Anyway, there is something I need to explain, namely how to transcend time. Press the Y button for the time gauge and use the L and R buttons to select an era. Oh, yeah. Before you go, why don't you... Oh. Name my time machine. Ah, uh, box always nice. Hop aboard. Up we go. Got our own cockpit. We're taking off, guys. And we're heading back to Zeal. The Dark Ages. 12,000 BC. What's happening? It's great, it's fast. Epoch's capable of this? Oh, it's capable of much more. Here we are. On the Terra Cave here now, guys. So we're back where we basically got banished, but we're in a different area. This is El Gedi, the village of the Earthbound Ones. These guys have no magic, basically. Super sad existence. But, we'll talk to the Elder here. Guru of Life said that Sir Janus has stronger powers than even Mishala. Janus must be using her and the Queen to get to Lavos. I don't need to go into every area. Go ahead and save it here.
I'm gonna use the shelter because I don't know if I got full. Pretty close to full. Not bad. We got a boss coming up here. We're gonna steal from these guys. With charm. I think. No, nah, maybe the beasts don't give you much. One of them do though. Let's see. No. Attack power up. Not like it really matters. It's only got a thousand. This area coming up to is one of my favorite areas as well. It's really damn cool. I recently found a game of Steam. It's called Star Racer. It's pretty much F Zero. If I remember correctly, F Zero ran at 60 FPS on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, it did. And um, the Switch version of it is actually fantastic. Um, there's a Switch F Zero 99, I think it's called, or something like that, and it's really damn good. So use a luminaire and try to just blow them away. It's bringing it up here in my chat so I can see it all. That's good. There we go. Perfect. Now I can see my chat. I want to be able to see Twitch chat as well. Guys, if you haven't followed on Twitch, I am on Twitch now as well. And uh, we're trying to grow ourselves over on that side as well. Because now they allow multi-streaming, so... I am multi-streaming. I'm going to try charming these guys to see if we can get anything. So blue gives us what? Mermaid cap. I wonder what the other one gives me. Is this... I don't know. Mermaid cat. Oh, that one didn't count. Let's try that again. We're going to try to steal off everybody. Doesn't do that much damage, so we can kind of be safe with it. Really cool that they jump on each other's back, though. What does this guy got? Does he have anything? Speed tab. Okay. Speed tabs are actually really good. Still got the orange guy to get here. Alright. Uh, orange guy. Let's see if he gives us something. Elixir. Okay, that's not bad. That's not that great either. All right, we're gonna go ahead and see what this does. One Luminaire. I don't know if one of them's gonna steal health from this, probably. Is that it? No, okay, they got a lot of health. It's gonna take a couple Luminaires to kill them all. do a cat attack. It's awesome. He it bites him. Alright, this should do it. Two Luminaires. Thanks 5,000 HP per person. I don't know what's going on with the stream there. Am I still seeing chat? All right, we're down that one. Make sure our chat's coming through here, guys. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're good. Bring up live messages again. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna fly through this area, guys. We're not gonna fight anything else we have to. Some of it's RNG. It's 
fry these guys. That makes them fall. You can't kill them in one hit. It takes two hits to kill them. Which kind of sucks. Whatever. It doesn't take very long to get there. You hear Tico upstairs barking. Gargoyles. I think they dropped something unique. Maybe? Big hand. Yeah, that's that's a robo weapon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, haven't you need to have her in your crew because she just gets all these wicked items off enemies. You should wish list the game. Yeah, I know. I've seen Sea of Stars. Uh, Mexican Runner was actually playing it. Um, very, very cool game. Uh, it's a mix between Chrono Trigger and Super Mario RPG, which I love both. So yeah, I, I, I really do want to play that one. For sure. wonder, did they drop anything cool? Let's see. Nothing. Okay. The imps probably do. Did. No? Oh, he's got 300 health. Nice one there, frog. Your terrible, terrible attack power. Did. And Glenn leveled up. That's good. Glenn's frog, by the way. We don't need to get all the stuff, so we're just gonna go right to the boss. As soon as we can, anyways. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Come on! We'll do a water too, just to finish him off. A little bit of lightning, a little bit of water. Let's fry him. It's on sale as well. Sorry, Robo, I didn't see that. Interesting. Yeah, I gotta look at the uh, Steam sale, I guess, and see what's out there. See if it's cheaper than CDKeys.com. Because that's pretty cheap. Load vest. We do have to get up there. Ah, the chain. Where's the chain come across? Okay, we got it. This is one of the only spots with randomized battles. Which is kind of weird. Not as that bad when you got AoE attacks, you can kill everything anyways. What about you, uh, Robo? What do you play for RPGs, man? What did, have, like, are you an RPG guy? Like, when you play a lot of, like, first-person shooter games and action stall games and stuff, but do you play RPGs? Yeah, I know you were talking about it. I was thinking of you. You said you were so excited. You say, I got the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection last week and it was terrible, tons of bugs. Concert crashes, thank god I refunded it. Just got it for the nostalgia and initial... Oh, it's terrible, man. It's too bad. I've been watching listening in the background while I put some hours in my first run ever. Pokemon Red? Wow, for retro sake. That's amazing. God, yeah, man. That's a throwback. So what made you want to play that? You just never played it before and just decided it was one you wanted to do? And how's it standing up for you? Uh, 
Uh, my first uh, Pokemon game was Pokemon Red. I think these are called man eaters. Yeah, man eaters. I always find this hilarious. What a name for an enemy type. Yeah, I had it being a kid and never got past one hour in. This time, forty. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can certainly lose a lot of time, with Pokemon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know. Great game. Charizard. I always found it weird, though, when they released those carts with all the colors. At the time, you had to buy them. You had to buy them all in order to get. If you wanted to catch them all, you had to have them all, right? It's always weird to me. Very strange design choice for Nintendo to do that. Yeah, especially since I know nothing and been lost when it comes to team. Oh yeah. The technical technical machines or whatever they're called. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're almost better off looking at some guidebooks for that game. It's very intuitive. It really is. There's a lot you can do. Getting close to the boss here, guys. Very close. Yeah, I own red, but picked up yellow a few weeks back. But this game here is a blast to watch. And thanks for streaming. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you joining. It wasn't planned today. I love Chrono Trigger, and honestly, my my setup is it's world class now. Truly, this looks amazing. If you have a TV, I was watching one of my streams with this layout on the TV today, and it's so damn sharp and slick. It really, I'm really happy with it. Really happy with it. At 1440p, live streamed, it looks so good. Time hat. Thought that was actually cool back in the day, but reality is it kind of sucks. All right, so we're heading heading up top. I love this part. It gets dark, and you hear the thunder. It's really damn cool. Yeah, it's a RGB modded uh, SNES Junior one chip. Looks phenomenal. This whole area looks amazing too. And I'm playing on CRT. It looks even better for me. <laughs> uh, Tis where the guru of life remains imprisoned. Krono, look. I love to look at this boss. Oh, he looks so badass, man. Look at this. Giga Gaia, I think he's called. Yeah, Giga Gaia. Boom. Luckily, I've got tons of HP and life. Dude can't hurt me. New Game Plus. Well, the advantage of New Game Plus is that you can just fly through the narrative pretty quick. Speed tab. Can I get something from the arms? I forget. God, the sprite work is incredible. I'm sure you'll appreciate this robo. Sprite work on this boss. Let's see if I can get something from the arms. Charm his hands. Let's see. No, oh, okay, we done. We need to go all in. We're gonna blow him away. Luminaire right in his like midsection just nails him. Brutal. Goes to hands. A little bit of water. Wash this down. And then we'll should we save up for a triple tech? Yeah, let's triple tech him. Let's do it. 3D attack. Oof. Oh yeah. You gotta love that, buds. Yeah, he's shocked. You see that? It's like, what just happened? Should I do a falcon hit on him? Let's do a volt bite. Now I'll do a leap slash. I love that. You charge her with electricity and she starts hitting him. And look how orange he turns on the first hit. Come on, let's finish him off with the leap slash. That'd be wicked. Ah, oh, too bad. We'll 3D attack him again. Nah, we'll do we'll do something else here. Let's do um a spire. Spire looks freaking awesome. 
sticks the sword in his head. Lightning hit, hits him in the head, man. So damn cool. And he's dead. Just like that. He's not that easy, though, when you're playing um, through it the first time. He's a tough boss, man. I love this whole arena look. The way everything looks here. So cool. Save the guru. Melkwire. But he doesn't... But he doesn't know because he's the past version of them. More importantly, can you tell me anything about the Ocean Palace? I got a couple turn-based RPGs like Wasteland 3, Final Fantasy 13, Yakuza 8. This is a game range from old and new FPS. A dozen immersive uh, and a ton of indie games. Awesome. I see the queen is degraded to that degree or degenerated to that degree. The more energy the mammoth machine absorbs, the further the queen degenerates. Her spirit has been stolen by the infamous Lavos. You must flee. The seal has been broken. The mountain will collapse. The mountain of woe is about to crumble. Look <laughs> at this guy. Mommy, the mountain's gonna fall. This part's cool too. I like how it goes up before it falls. Creates a massive tidal wave. And the tidal wave effect is pretty neat, I must say. Lava sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. Oh, no, wait a minute. This is not the tidal wave part. What am I saying? If the mammoth machine is... Br brought closer to him he may awaken we must hurry before it's too late elder shala is here here comes the good music again shala's here i think it's the last time we get to hear it oh yeah no absolutely sprite based chains tethered together miss shala why have you come to such a miserable place Stop degrading yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Lavo's control. She totally gets it. What a filthy hovel. Malquar, after the mountain of well, woe fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The ocean palace is now operational. Then all is lost. But without me, the mammoth machine won't work. I have turned my back on that evil device. I've kept the skyway open. Hurry, you must stop, my mother. Why don't we keep it right there? Dalton. Just tisk, my dear. Your presence is required elsewhere. Dalton, leave her alone. Ah, the geezer speaks. Silence, old man. Boom. Ah. You'll come to the Ocean Palace with me. Do anything funny and shell his dust, got it? Hits shot. <laughs> My god, he hits the kid. The queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? Stay back. This light the life of this one means nothing to me. Shall we get going, Shala, dear? Your mother awaits. Man, Shala has the worst life imaginable. It's actually terrible. My god. Old man, okay? I'm alright. But we must save Shallow or else. Impossible, even though it's coming from you, Melquire. If the Queen is allowed to fulfill her scheme, all life as we know it is doomed. Don't worry, I got you, bro. No, it isn't. You're willing to challenge the Queen? Yes, I am. You've done so much for us, and I don't even know your names. Or you're not thine head. Thou hath fixed the mass immune. What are you talking about? Chrono, we go now. Wait, take this with you. It's made of the same red stone as the mana machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. One ruby knife. 
doesn't even know our names. You just gotta get over that, man. Forget where I gotta go next. Is it over here? Up to Zeal? Yeah, we gotta go to Zeal now. We're going back up. We're going up top again. We're going up top. Getting Got everybody pissed off at us, but we're gonna go back. One more time in this beautiful area. I think I can scratch the back of these dudes now. They can use... Is there one here? Was in the next area? Is in the next area. Okay. And we're going back up once we get to the next area here. I do find it kind of cool that you actually have to walk to the gates in order to go up top. You can't just like teleport over to the other islands. That's where I guess. That's friggin area, man. It's gorgeous. But back in 95, the Christmas of 95, I um, I idled here for hours listening to this music right here. Going to Kajar. We're going to try to scratch the news back. And we can wake him up because there's actually a poem that allows you to wake him up. Yeah, we can't even go there, which kind of sucks. Is it up through here? So I've got the scratch point now for this new. I think I can get him to move. Yeah. Scratch, scratch. Ooh. Scratch, scratch. Whew. Scratch, scratch. Tee hee. And he spits out a tab. Feels so violated. Does he drop more? I don't think so. I think it's just once. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. There's also, um, I think there's one more. Or not. No, nah, that's it. That's a cool little Easter egg. Alright, up we go. You're heading, out, heading to take on the queen again, guys. But nasty old queen. The true villain in this game. I'd say she's more of a villain than Lavos. Lavos is just... You wish it would look like Octopath Traveler? Yeah, um, a 2.5D would make a lot of sense for a game like this. I'd like to see it as well. I'd also be happy with something like Final Fantasy VII Remastered. I would be happy with that. I know it takes forever for it to come out, but just the amount of detail behind this stuff is just, just nuts. You know you're screwed when there's a save state, right? It's like, oh, you can save here. You know it's not going to be good. Look at Dalton. Fooey, why is the prophet allowed inside? Well, I'm stuck with guard duty. Ah, there you are. I let the prophet go knowing you'd, he'd mess up sooner or later. I've got no use for you anymore. Your history. Sure about that, Dalton? Are you sure on the history? He's trying to charm you. Does he have anything cool? Power meal. Huh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I, I, I totally get it. I mean, at the end of the day, if they're going to do 2.5D, like Octopath Traveler, I think... I don't know, man. I really don't know. He's waiting for me to attack because he wants to counterattack me. I'm gonna wait for his counterattack break. 
When it comes to Chrono Trigger, it's just such a sacred game. I don't know how I feel about it being remade, to be honest. It's gonna be rough. It has to be done right. Darn, burp. Who burps and hit actually hits me? He has some serious magic. No, I'm going to be immortal. I can't be beaten now. He has to bail. All right, here we go, guys. Into the ocean. This part's really cool. Ocean Palace. Imagine something like that underneath the ocean. Oh, by the way, music here is full of bangers. Black energy grows. Something scary is waking up. You got that right. Shall I raise the power of the Mammoth Machine to its limit? Shall you dare disobey me? All right, Mother. Oh, what bright splendor. The incredible power of Lavos. Ah! The prophet moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something going on with that prophet. Let's use a shelter here. I love this theme. This whole area, man, just has the coolest music. Feels so desperate. Oh, 52 damage? Jeez. I gotta kill Vargas first? Okay. Vargas it is. Muscle fusion with nearby brothers. Man, the enemy designs are crazy. Just crazy how they came up with this stuff. Now Jin is in trouble. Yeah, that's how you do it. Did. You gotta activate all these switches in order to open up the next area. Red Scout and Mage. Let's see what we can get off the Mage. A barrier? That's not bad. Mage is not even weak to physical, which is crazy to me. I can't even be hurt by the status effects barely at all. We got one switch down. Heading back out. Cool names on the gear here as well. I'm going to avoid most of this. Let's just get a switch room. Should I spend the refund money on Metal Gear Solid? Oh, see. Man, honestly. If you got nothing to play right now, um, I mean, Sea of Stars is going to give you a ton of content. Can't stay for long, but wanted to give thumbs up and say hi working on my game room. That's awesome. Cutting it in with paint. That is awesome. Appreciate you dropping a like there, Seth. Nice to see you again. What's uh what's the big plan with the game room? What's what's so you're just trying to spice it up a little bit? I've been always I'm working on this little room here as well. This room is a game room and also my office for work. So I can't go too crazy. Although I have kind of went crazy. Do you see these things over here? Those shadow boxes and stuff? And all those stuffies and I wish you could see this area over here. I should actually show it to you guys. I don't even know if you've seen my setup. Let's move it. Ah. 
Let's see what we got here. What can I show? Alright, so that's what I'm playing off of. All the games up there as well. And then I've got all that gear up there. All the retro consoles are all working. Right down to the Dreamcast down there. Right? So we got all this gear. And then we got, the, like I said, that. These drawers are full of stuff down here as well. And then we've got all this PC equipment over here. So yeah, we got lots of gear here, guys. Crazy. But yeah, this is what I was talking about, the uh, shadow boxes. And the blaster master down here just fell. And then we got the couch. Little things over here. TV up here. Yeah, those shadow boxes are amazing. They're so cool. I love them. All right. We'll put it back. Ugh. Game room tour? Should I do a game? I don't know, man. Is it even big enough to do a game room tour? Maybe. Do people even care, though? That's the thing, right? You guys care, I guess. So maybe I will. You don't have much wall stuff yet? It's always big enough. Yeah. Yeah, I am... Um, I'm, I'm a pretty minimalist guy when it comes to what I have down here. I have exactly what I use. No more, no less. Um, lots of little trinkets and stuff here. Um, I'm just trying to make it feel like a little arcade room for myself. I am going to end up getting a... Um, uh, an arcade machine as well that plays pretty much all the arcade games so I'm going to try to get it with four controllers it's not going to be um, it's going to be a custom cabinet I'm going to make it myself that's what we hope she says <laughs> yeah no doubt look at these guys Gotta hit those switches what games what games are you gonna put in it um, well um, I'm going to be running basically uh, an emulator so that I can play whatever I want on it but it's going to be the full setup gauntlet ledges dark legacy cabinet that would be solid I think for me what I would want is the x-men six player cabinet if I could find one but God, it would be good luck finding that, right? Trying to avoid as many fights as possible. Still got one more to get here. Is it down here? Or did I do this area? One game I would recommend it strike it. Four player co op. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That new Contra game's out, too. I mean, it's only an hour for a pro to go through it. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, another cool beat-em-up as well, besides Strikeout, is um, uh, Night Slashers. I'd love to have a Night Slashers cabinet. That would be amazing. I think there's one called Ninja Warriors as well. If not mistaken. That would be really cool to have. But yeah, if I'm getting a, if I'm getting an arcade cabinet, I want one that basically does it all. I don't want 50 arcade cabinets sucking power right on my wall. I just don't. I'm trying to go a little bit minimalist, and it's just a pain in the ass. Do you guys have arcade machines out there? Any of you? Technically, I don't even need an arcade. I've got a CRT here. I could totally just run a little box to this CRT and still be just as happy. But then I want something that's dedicated, you know? I want something that's over in the corner, dedicated, cool on the backdrop sort of thing. I don't know. We'll see. But when I do it, I'll let you guys know and I'll make it a big, a big event. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Set up in the space is a big one, right? I 
think I just did the door. This should have done the door. I go around it here now. That's the switch I was looking for. We're trying to avoid as many fights as we can. But yeah, Seth, I'm glad you joined. I know you're busy and stuff, but it's uh, great to see you. Look at this guy in the middle with his tornado attacks. I don't know what I can steal off of him. But I feel like I can... No arcades here, sadly. Yeah. You know, back, back in the 90s... It was the prime of gaming. There's no question in my mind. I think that it's going to be impossible. It's going to be impossible for that type of iconic gaming to ever happen again. Where there was just games everywhere. You went to a gas station, there was games. You went to like a restaurant, there'd be an arcade machine. There's arcade machines everywhere, man. So damn cool. I miss it. I, I do. I really get nostalgic when I think about that stuff. Like, I'm one of the people that thinks The Wizard with Fred Savage is actually a good movie. I know it's cheesy as hell, but I loved it. Yeah, loved it. That Nintendo commercial. So good. And yes, I actually like the original uh, Mario Brothers movie. With Yoshi and the little Reebok bomb on. Bob Hoskins. Oh, man. Glory days. Glory days when you could watch Saturday morning cartoons and Super Mario Brothers 3, the animated cartoon, came on. So good, man. I've done it before where I got underneath all of them and I didn't have to fight them. Thrasher. I love New Game Plus, so you can just destroy everything. Nothing survives, right? Yeah, so I'm playing, uh, guys, if you don't know, I'm playing this on SNES Junior that's RGB modded. It's also got the C-Sync mod and the Luma mod done to it. So it's really cool. Uh, I was hoping not to have to fight these guys, but whatever. They want me to fight. They want me to level up. They're forcing me to level up. That's what's happening here. Yeah, so the systems I got hooked up here right now, guys. Dreamcast, Wii U, Wii, uh, NES, um, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega CD. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. It's great era. No arcades around here. except You got an arcade bar? That's cool, though. I mean, beer and games is like... How, how do you improve on that? You can't, right? I guess no no girlfriend or wife bugging you. Right? That's always good, too. What are you doing? Now, my wife is supportive. She said, uh, go down and stream for a couple hours. I got this up here. Well, I, I cook dinner and all that stuff. So, she's like, go on, take a break. I'm like, cool, I'll do that. So, I just came down here, set the stream up. Didn't even know what I was going to stream at first. I'm like, yeah, Chrono Trigger, let's do it. For our, our boy, Akira Toriyama. The ancient red rock has been passed down through the ages. From it, the magic pendant and knife were made. We embody Melquire's dream sealed within the knife. Now hurry, if you plan to confront the queen, we're counting on you. That's where the mass, mass immune comes from, for that ruby knife. It's kind of neat. Ah, I can feel it, the pulse of eternal life. Ha ha ha, dark force, wild energy, rawr. <laughs> Poor old Magus is there as the prophet, right? That's the spoiler, but he's just there, like, watching the, his sister that he cares so much for die again, basically. The mammon machine, your majesty, it's too dangerous. Mother! Don't stop, Shala, we're almost there. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the glory it deserves. Mwahaha! Too long have I waited. Yeah, anybody goes mwahaha, it's not a good person. It's like an hour drive for me, but it's pretty chill. That's cool, Seth. Yeah, totally a good way to go. He's still trying to say, yeah. Yeah, Seth, it's, it's rough, man. I feel so bad for how tragic she is as a figure. It's just... She has the best damn song ever, too. I'm supposed to sleep now, but I... 
I don't feel sleep. It's four in the morning? Well, it's the weekend, right, Robo? You know. You're hanging out with your friends. It's all good. Good Canadian friend here. Two will absorb. I think the two other ones will die, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It's kind of funny. The blue scout absorbs. Fights all mag, but with water. Reflects mag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some of the translation in this version is actually quite atrocious. But I still prefer this version over... I like the Steam version most for fun functionality. But being able to load up your cart and play this on real hardware, there's nothing better. And the uh, the DS version, Nintendo DS version of this, of course, has some expanded content. comes to Shala. Um, I played through it on emulation. I've never owned a DS myself. Alright, Luminaire. Let's do it. I'm going to take out Barges. Barges first, right? And then Jin, I think. Man, I don't even understand why I'm... I don't even know why I'm doing Twitch. Like, there's nobody on Twitch. Twitch doesn't... I think Twitch is worse than YouTube for promoting small, small timers. Jeez, bad, man. I'm streaming on Twitch right now, and I'm encoding a separate stream to do it. I think I've got one person that showed up and didn't say anything. PS1 version, slight lag. Yeah, no, the loading is a little bad on the PS3. So, the Steam version is superior in every way. It is, right? Translations are fixed. The um, widescreen support's awesome. It's got all the cutscenes and stuff. And it's just, it's just fantastic all around. But... It's just something that seems to kind of not work. Let's do a falcon hit here. Did they fix the tall sets? I believe so. I believe they're all fixed. I started playing it. I got to the... Um, I did some streams of it. I got to... Um, the Black Omen. Part of the game. And I didn't play it since. Because I was just playing some of the cooperative games, right? My channel is mostly cooperative games. But I'm going to play a few that I want to play anyway. So if people want to leave the channel because all of a sudden they see me playing Chrono Trigger, that's up to them. I don't care. Don't want them here anyways. <laughs> Whatever. If you leave because I'm playing Chrono Trigger, man, you're not my type of people anyways. Right? It's like, come on, man. It's like the greatest game of all time. I love that you can sneak around the dude. And then I got hit by him anyways today. Okay. That's cool. Let's, uh... Falcon hit this dude. I love Falcon hit too, guys. That is such a damn cool attack. I know it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but man, does it ever look cool. Hits everything in a horizontal straight line. One more of those. Up, oh, up. Oh. God, that's cool. Combat in this game is unbelievable. Still, man. Triple text, dual text, special attacks with different party members as well, once you get the, uh, I think they're called eggs. Really damn cool, man. Oh, so, so ahead of their time set. So ahead of their time. Blew me away. Just, it's, like, and the attacks make so much sense for the characters that you're using. So cool, man. I'm just so happy I can play it right here, just sitting here, man. Playing on the real stuff. It's just the best. You made it this far? Maybe I underestimated you. Maybe, Dalton. This is the end. They will take care of you. Come, Gollum twins. 
Come on, Smiggle times two. Let's go, Smiggle. Iron Orb reduces by one half. Let's try to do a charm here, though. Should drop something. Come on. Give me something. Magic tab? Ah, that's not really worth doing. Who lost it? Was it Glenn that lost half his health? Yeah, Glenn lost half his health. That's not bad. Still Luminaire. And then if we get a chance with Glenn or Isla, we'll do a, a tail thing or the frog stomp. The less HP they have, the better they do with it. Let's say tail, tail spin, Dino tail. That's what it's called. So the greater the damage with low HP. That's a cool attack too. Yeah, it does a lot, right? If you do it right. And I think I can frog squash them now for a lot of damage. Using all the cool attacks. Oh, it's so glorious. Then we'll do Luminaire. Yeah, no, Tactics is Tactics is fantastic. Another one, uh, if you haven't played it, Golden Sun. It's a fantastic RPG. And Xenogar Xenogears, I think. Yeah, Xenogears. And then there's um, Panzer Dragon Saga. Saga? Or what is it? It's one of them. I'm going to keep Glenn at low HP here, if I can. So I can keep dropping those frog stomps. They beat the Golem Twins? Alright, this calls for the Golem Boss. Those, those are all great too. Yes, yeah, Seth. And of course, Secret of Mana as well. As I can see that you have the, the profile picture. I actually got Secret of Mana there. I'll show you that, I guess. That's my version of Secret of Mana. And, um, yeah, it's got the cool back and all that stuff too, right? Official cart. Sitting in there. Um, and what's cool is, I know I'm kind of taken away from the game that we're playing. It's, that's, it's all on topic, right? Um, I got the multi-tap over here as well. So I got the four, uh, I can see if I can see it. Yeah, let's hold on. I'm sure you can see it here. I know it's all, geez, I'm going to break stuff. Yeah, so I got the multi-tap right there as well. You can probably see that down there. Yeah, so I can play three-player, no problem. And play up the five-player Super Nintendo games. It's freaking awesome. Love it. Your favorite? Yeah, no doubt. I figured it would be. All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. This will be just your lucky day. Bye-bye. In we go. Look at this guy, he jumps over. This is the hall of the mammon machine. Now's the time to turn back, you know. Jumps over the side, like, what? Why? We shan't allow thee to meddle with Lavo's queen. Isla, come, we're a strong beast. You're. I am. Help! Shala! Four megas. What are you doing, Shala? I need your help here. Chrono, use the old man's knife to stop the machine. Chrono, use red knife. Here we go, Immune. Ready, big brother? Love it. That's how the Mass Immune is made. Oh, it's so cool. Tis the Mass Immune. And having Glenn here is perfect, right? The Mammon Machine? It's coming. No, stop. The sword alone can't stop it. Uh oh. He's bailing. He's getting out of it. He knows what's up, man. He's like, no. Nope. That's a big nope for me. Our Lavos? You're like, oh, I'm just a bringer of doom. And I'm just like, hell's to the no. 
Oh, there goes Frog. Frog dead. Donald Tail, this bastard. Come on. Pop that on Chrono. We'll use a life as well. Oh yeah, you gotta love that. You gotta love those low HP freaking Dino Tails. You don't get to do them often. Isla's dead as well. That's cool. Yeah, the possible endings are just outstanding. Do a Dino Tail as well. I'm gonna use a life. I'm gonna use a life. We, we normally would get our asses kicked here. This wouldn't be a no contest. But, but because it's no ga new game plus, like I will actually blow a hole through this guy. Which is amazing. And it does affect the ending. Destruction rain from the heavens. So Glenn is going to survive it. I'm going to survive it. Isla's down now. Okay. I'm going to life over here. And we're going to use a mega elixir. Just waiting for her to get back up. Here we go. We're back up. We're laughing. Now he's in big trouble. Come on, Lavos. Blow a hole in that skull of yours. Yeah, absolutely there, Rope Cop. Great having you. Sleep well, dude. See you next time. I just love that it's actually possible to beat him at this point. Because you would think this would be, like, plot armor. Like, you just couldn't beat him. Cure himself. Fill up Glenn's life. Because he's about to do his destruction here. After this attack, I think it's destruction rain from the heavens again. Or it's going to be the spiral attack that does like a ridiculous amount of damage as well. Let's see what we can do with Donald Tail here. Two hundred and eleven. So you're talking probably twenty eight hundred damage, twenty five hundred damage. I used to be able to calculate it right to the hundred, basically, with the amount of health he had left. A couple more attacks should blow a hole in this, so. You're so not supposed to do this in the game. Beat it at this point. It's only possible at New Game Plus. Yeah, no. Uh, you only you can only do it New Game Plus because honestly, this version here is when Lavos is pretty much at his strongest. Like, he is dominating those hits, man. His attack level is insanely high. Like, he's actually doing a good job keeping me at bay here. Now, I'm being a little bit careless. Still, nevertheless, he is holding his own. I'm going to go ahead and use a Mega. Make sure we do it. There it is. He's like, bling! Like, what? What just happened? Just blew a hole in him. Can it be over? This is Lavo Shell. Inside, still strong. I'll let no give up.
So, I did this on purpose. You're not supposed to do this, which is even crazier. So, we're actually getting a, a different ending. Because you can't escape. You have to do it now. I have to go all in. I have to beat the final boss. Which is friggin' badass, man. So damn cool. We're gonna beat the final boss, and it's gonna be like, I didn't. What does the Star Sword do? Nothing, really. Let's use some tabs here. Let's give ourselves some tabs. Why not? We got them to use. What else we got? Any other ones? Alright, here we go. Taking on Lavos early. I <laughs> love it. It's like, and then it puts you back to where you basically you were before. Which is hilarious. Sorry, so this will be our finest battle. I will not give up. Of course you won't. Oh, man, it's so damn cool. Music. Laser beams. Doors of doom open. Power nipples. Yeah, let's go. Now, I don't have any AoE... Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta take out the arms first to be able to hurt the body. This is a good example of the artwork, too. Oh, is it ever. So cool. It kept the same vibe through, uh... Dragon Ball? Or, no... Dragon Ball, maybe? Is that what you mean? Oh, I think I think that's what you mean because I mean obviously it's the same artist, right? Kira Toriyama. We're gonna do some cures on some people here. We'll use him to heal. Yeah, the alien star, yeah, I know. Oh, uh, it's so very cell and yeah, it's it's really damn cool. I just thought it was really cool because everybody thinks that this when you first time you play it, you think this is the big baddie. Like this is it, right? This is the final battle. And then you realize you were wrong. And then, you even realize you're wrong again in the battle. And I'll explain that in a bit, what I mean by that. Take those arms out. Alright, bro. It's just us. Yeah, like the arms that are up there grabbing onto the tentacles up top. In a way, you know what this reminds me of? If you guys watch Stranger Things, this boss kind of reminds me a little bit of Vecna. Which is kind of crazy. I know it's mechanical, but the, the whole tentacle design, like feeding them. Now, of course, this was way before Vecna's time. Well, no, Dungeons and Dragons. So I wonder, I wonder when... So Vecna would have been back in the, what... 70s? You should probably create it? Something like that? Of course, he wasn't that, except for in Stranger Things, so it's, it's, yeah. You can see that? Yeah, definitely. Very Lovecraftian, right? Like HP Lovecraft, there's no question. Alright, Glenn, give yourself some HP, brother.
as this is the hardest variant of the boss like when you're taking him on at this point I'm pretty sure this is as hard as he gets right now it's pretty normal but the outside is harder I'm sure of it I'd have to look up the actual metrics on the health I think so triple kick freaking awesome move Chink. 693. You're getting close to death. Let's do a let's do our big baddie attack. 3D attack. Here it is. Ching. I put a dent in him. Great finish. Now. One of my favorite themes is coming up right now. If you can hear the music. Here we go. And the coolest effect ever. So damn cool, this whole area. You're like, oh, here he is. This is this is Lavos. Right? This, this is him. Finally, we see what's inside. This be evil. Indeed, this thing possesseth. Possesseth. Ah, possesseth. The vitality of all living creatures. My God, I couldn't say that. It hath harvested DNA from animals only to further its own evolution and while sleeping to boot. It is too much to bear. We have been reared like animals. Our lives have been for naught. Me no run. I'll no run away. Worse than losing. My life retaineth its meaning. We haveth our own will. I was strong. I was in world good. You outsider, not part of planet's life. Look at that pose, man. Look at the poses. Oh, man. So badass. Like, action poses? Here we go. I'll say, is it 3D attack on this dude? Chink. Oh, damn. We're not messing around here, Lavos. Came to play today. Crying heaven's hidden blow. Oh, that lightning bolt. Damn, that looks so cool, man. Shuts off defense. So, here's the thing. The real Lavos is not the dude in the middle or the left. The real Lavos is the bit on the right. That is the real Lavos this whole time. So you just blow the right away. Just keep going to town on the right bit. You ignore the middle one. Sure, he hits hard. Who cares? Ain't no thing. We're going to do. We're going to do multiple attacks here. We're going to do a Dino Tail. We're going to do a, a Luminaire, and we're going to do a Leap Slash. We're just going to town on the bit. We don't even care about the middle. And when he revives the bit on the left, you kill the bit on the left. And yeah. I just thought it was so cool that the, the bit on the right is the most powerful thing. And that's the real Lavos. That's the core. Yeah, no, it's not the middle. It, the, the middle guy is not Lavos. It's the right guy. It's a distraction once again. It's just another example of how creative they were. Active life decreases. Defense power. Or increases? Increases, I think. That would make more sense. Yep, we're Tom Warping. So yeah, we're just literally got him in a holding pattern. He just doesn't know what to do with himself. We're targeting the right bit. Because you're going to see why that is. When you, The reason you're going to notice it... Um, set is that when I kill the right bit everything else dies which confirms that's the source the guy in the middle will die at the same time but it just so happens that I killed the middle bit which I shouldn't have done so you could have seen it 
Let's do some physical attacks just for fun. For stall points. I love Confuse. Oh, God, it's like Omni Slash. We'll wait for him to revive. I want him to revive. Okay. Defense power is restored. So he's not going to do barely any damage. Yeah. See? He's getting ready to revive now. I want him to revive, though. Shuts off defense. Now. Alright, go ahead. Revive your, revive, revive your friends. I want to show you how this works. Dude, I'm giving you enough time. There you go. Revive them. Still Volt Bite on the middle. Or not the middle, the left, sorry. I gave him life. <laughs> Funny. We don't want to take it the middle, though. But now he can do his triple attacks. I don't want him to do those either. That would not be good. Let's, uh, let's cat attack this bit. Fuse it. Then we'll kill it. That'll drop the defense to the right bit. But when you kill the right bit, the middle guy will die, and that's what proves it. It's pretty close to death now. Let's uh, use a Mega Elixir. Alright, now we're just going to literally just attack the right bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The revive makes complete sense, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense at all. I had an argument with a guy about that one time. But it's all, it's all just a cover. The bit is, like, literally where it all comes from. And it makes sense, right? Grant, look at this cool attack. Ultimate physical attack. Freaking love that. He's also got the other star of ruin or something it is. Triple kick it. It's close to death. Gotta be. There it is. See? The middle dies when you kill the right. So you're not supposed to do this, right? Like, you're not supposed to win at this point of the game. There's so much more of the game that now I've missed because of that. But it's still damn cool. It's a mad flex. Seizure warning, guys. Jeez. Forgot it flashed that much. Sorry. But that's, uh, old retro games, unfortunately. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you completely just dominate Lavos, right? Exactly when you're supposed to. And then all of a sudden, look at this. This is where you get... If you didn't see this set, I'd be surprised. Watch this. This is the secret ending. Kokobu Co and I have been polishing up our anti-stress massage technique. Good job, you finished the hardest version of the game. This is the development room for Chrono Trigger game. Take a walk around and hear what the team has to say. Kizo Kaboto, or Ko Kaboto, I can't remember say the name. Well, I hope everyone can say it was a learning experience. When you complete your rounds, come back and see me. So which is left, the Raiders or the Cowboys? Talking about football. How about those Dodgers? How cool is this, man? So all those have stuff up here too. Let me talk to Magus up here. Oh, screwed that up. We can talk all these though. Shinjiro Namisaka. Good job, guys. Yashuko Kamada. Isn't 32 megs great? The graphics become incredible. It's painful at times, but it sure was fun. Oops, did I forget to insert a few parts? I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's uh it does, I think. Someone kiss me. Hey, <laughs> hey, the Trirannolaire. Yep, that was my bright idea to put the switch in the mouth. Isn't that cool, man? Oh, man. Dude, what a relief. It's over. I 
Got to talk to him all. Yasumori Mutsuda. Well, it's my turn to go on a journey. There he goes. Well, I'm glad they gave me a bit of a part in this game. Kazushiro Okawa. Or Okawa, I can't say it. Congratulations, now. Wasn't that fun? Kita Ito. It'll cost you 10 million G to fix a broken map. Konami. <laughs> like, does this mean we're finally free to go home? Don't look for me. Hiroko, yeah, like I'm not gonna look for you. No, I definitely got to. All right, we're out of this room. Gotta show it all off though. Shinichiro Okiwa. Gee, you know they really kept us locked up for a long time. My hair's this long as a result. Makoto Shinimoto. Can you do it? The 9,999 damage point strike? Yes, I can. Yusoki Naora. Are we having fun yet? Hiroshaki. Ugh, my god. That's a pretty good costume you got on there, kid. Wait, it's really you, isn't it? Sean Moria. I've been working on this ROM for 24 hours. Ah, someone save me. I'm getting sucked in. Ken Narita. Love was in the air, but then the boat sank. Sigh. Hey, that's me, the merchant maker. Thank you. Thank you. No applause necessary. Just send money. Another of my masterpieces will be available soon, so stay tuned. Want to see Chrono Trigger 2? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Yes? That'd be nice, huh? Oh, it hurts, man. Boy, this is a long haul. I've got my first gray hairs because of this game. Man, metal log put behind this. Oh, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. Tatsuya Takahashi. If you thought this was tough, get a load of Final Fantasy 2. Toshaki says... Suzuki. Ack, I'm so tired. No, I'm hungry. No, I can't decide. Ack, they're making me into a zombie working on this game. Kakahushi, yeah. Legendary program seeks a spe that special someone waiting for those cards and letters. We actually battled them. <laughs> so cool, man. Get the battle, like, the staff. I'm gonna wipe him that one hit. Oh, jeez, the damage. Speaking of tired, after they split the game two, trigger and mana, some of the workers nearly worked to death to get. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Well, the composer, right? It's the big one. Alright, so we get that one. The little rat thing. Takeyuki Antashi, Otashi. Mission complete. Let's talk to the rat. Feed me. They've kept me locked up for so long. Tetsuro Yamura. Or Nomura. 3, 2, 1. Restart. I love that. Just joking. What a full, cool coding thing, though. Hey, they promised to name the game Hoshino Trigger. Wow, you just jetted through the game, huh? Let me throw you a kiss. My god, so cool. I haven't done this ending in a long time. Ever since I started growing my hair, I've been getting a lot of attention from guys. Yikes. <laughs> you wouldn't be, that's not an acceptable joke now. But you can't beat the race score of 2,110 in the bike race. Tadahiro Yasuda, look closely and you'll appreciate the individuality of the monsters. Check out the sword on, or the shadow on this guy's sword. Uh, it's supposed to be a guy. It's supposed to be a guy. Uh, he gets pissed off when you call him a girl. 
Because Frog calls him girl. Will you be my friend? Are you a girl? Oh my god. Yes, I'm a girl. Look at that. I lost 22 pounds because of this game. You better be enjoying it. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Are you a girl? <laughs> yeah, bud. I'm a girl. Of course I am. Did you figure out the Poyozoto dance attack? See you again in the next game. So damn cool. How about those dodgers? Alright, so this is the little secret area that you don't know about until you do it. Yoshori Kitsasi. Or you get through all ten different endings. Depends on when you challenge Lavos. Better find the switch soon or it'll go up in flames. Now. Something here on this one? Good job, you finished my... Yeah, okay, yeah. I don't think I've done all the spots. I didn't do this one yet. Yeah, there we go. Nakimura, congrats on finishing the game. Now get a life. Man, I wish. Finished the game already? What about all the work I put into it? Hey, out there in TV land. How are we doing? It's me, Manabu Dashima. If you like this game, check out the other Squaresoft titles. Matsui, now wasn't that special. See you same time. New game. Minori Akao. Boy, isn't this fun. Sorry, it's a bad makeup day for Takashi Tokita. We already did this one. There's more though. Where's um I'm almost positive I've done them all now, so I can talk to this dude. Or this dude. Yeah. Is this it? How I do it? Polishing up our anti stress massage technique. Uh I know I can get in that door. I know it. I missed one. I had to miss one. Did I do the top? Yeah, I did. Okay. So I did all these. There's a way to get over to that statue. Okay, that's how I do it. Kato, every night will have a day. Even forever has to come to an end, I think. And is there anything else? I thought there was one for um, Akira. I thought there was. I think there is, though. We'll just make sure there isn't. Maybe there isn't. Maybe it's just the programming staff, not the animation staff. Maybe I have to loop the room three times? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Did I miss one? I don't think I did. No, I didn't miss that. I didn't miss that. All right, let me, uh, let's look it up. Oh, drop that. Maybe there isn't. I thought there was though. It'd make for a good short. Don't trigger secret ending. Ending. Akira. Toriyama. I'm sure I saw him before. I pause what I saw him. Uh, yeah. Secret ending sequence. Wrote a message for his two children. 
The image shows Sprite of various characters, including one meant to be Toriyama himself dancing in a room. Maybe it's not in this ending. Maybe that's what's going on. I thought it was, though. Hey, Suzuki. Yeah, Pop's watching on games like this. Toriyama character and a message. Yeah, but it is... It's somewhere here. Maybe it's the beginning. I remember this room. Which ending is that? Where is this ending? I thought it was behind his door. Sure of it. Or maybe it's just in the base one. I think it it is. It's supposed to have yeah, no bow. Yeah, it's exactly. It's question is how do I get there? There we go. Here we go. This is it. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, this is it. Best part. Yuji Hori. One of these things is not like the others. The Stapler, Mothra, and the Olympics. Which one is it? Love it, man. She a deer in that uh, to... Uh, uh, uh. Now run out and go outside and play. Yeah. Yeah, play with boys and girls. Gary is Akira Toriyama. Rest in peace, my friend. Hey, Suzuki. Kika, Pops working on games like this. Hey, are you, you guys watching? Isn't this great? I'd like to thank Akira right now, Toriyama, for Game of a Lifetime. And just so much imagination. Still the best game of all time. Amazing. Guess what? I hit 100,000 yen jackpot. Boy, it used to be that I'd get thinner after each game. Now I'm getting weight instead. Ack, I must be getting old. Cheers, you made it to one of the endings. You're now a member of the Dream Team. And since you blew through the game so fast, we've adjusted your the credits to suit your style. Watch this. <laughs> the speedrunner ending. I love it. The end. So good, man. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Wild. Absolutely wild. Phew. Emotional, man. Alright, back to the real game, I guess. What time am I at here? How long have I been streaming? Two hours. I have the two hour mark? It's 8.45 now? What the hell? I can do a little bit more, though. Or maybe I should play something else. That would be a good spot to end this part of the stream. Maybe I'll just play something else. What can I play out on it? That would be cool. Now nah, I'll keep it on Chrono Trigger. That's what this episode is. Got to reset it here, guys. All right. There we go. Badass. We got to do a little bit of the content over again, but that's just the way it goes, right? Let's try not to be so good this time. Right? We just got to try to suck at the game. No, it's difficult. What is going on up here now? Uh, I just gotta bring up the chat here, guys. Just give me a second. Gotta uh, bring up the... So if, if I do get something on Twitch, I need to be able to see it, right? I might stream again tonight. I don't know. It might be uh, some Lethal Company or something. I've been having a blast with that game. That's so much fun. For co-op, like just getting a bunch of people together. It's really really crude like a retro game too. I, I really like it. This is as good as it gets. And man, does this ever look good on the, um, on the stream. But oh God, I wish I could show you how good it actually looks. One of the things that I'm doing, um, I'm going to be doing a comparison video of all of my Super Nintendo consoles, Nintendo Switch Online, SNES Classic. I'm doing a mega video of all the quality differences and everything else and going into what's best for everybody. 
uh, depending on your budget and stuff. It's going to be a, a crazy amount of work to do the video, but I plan to do it. I've got all the uh, raw footage of five games recorded with all the different um, setups, and I even included the uh, Hyperboy, or the Superboy. I don't know if you've seen a Superboy set, but I do have one here. Black and gold version. It's pretty cool. This guy right here. Oh, sorry, guys. Let's uh, keep playing the game, right? Yeah, this guy. If you can see it. You load Super Nintendo cartridges in the top. It's got a 16x9 and 4x3 switch. Badass little device. Love it. And it's got composite out, which is really neat. And uh, I actually had the multi-tap hooked up to this thing. The actual multi-tap, like playing Secret of Mana on this little screen. Oh yeah, it's so cool, man. So damn cool. Like, and uh, I can hook this up to my TV, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. And it does a really good job emulating games. You know, it, it plays the cards, right? But it dumps them. It's just like the other Hyperkin devices. Is it the best thing in the world? No, but for like super flex on the go SNES game, pulling a cart out of your back pocket and playing it on the go is just so hilarious. Want to see something really funny though? Um, I'll show this to you while I'm, I'm battling here, just because we're kind of here and we're doing our thing here. Come on, don't kill me. Um, watch this. Okay, don't fall, carts. I'm here battling in Chrono Trigger and I'm doing this at the same time. As intended, right? Let's, uh, let's do a falcon head here. Okay, so here's what I was talking about that was cool. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Game Boy with a backlight. Check that out. Right? Isn't that the coolest way to play Game Boy in the world? Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't, we don't need anything. We play original Game Boy on the go. I can even go as far as to hook up the um, SNES mouse. Oh yeah, no, I've been doing it. That's so hilarious, I pull it out. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's so good, man. Yeah, so I'm just there, you know. Oh, sorry, I got a kill stop, don't I? Anyways, yeah. Play some, uh... Look at that, it's bigger than my face. Playing some Tetris here. Let's go. I'm, I can even, on the fly here, I could I could technically hook it up. And you could actually see it while I'm doing it. I can, I can hook it up to the whole setup. I can stream, I can stream this device as I'm playing it. Anyways, I thought it was cool. Let's keep going. You never know what you're going to see around here, man. How we roll. Oh, I still got to do the switches. That's right. I've already done them once, but it's like I, I didn't do it for a while, right? Oh, come on. I wish you could get rid of that shit. That was, yeah. If you want to look really cool, bring out a Super Boy, your Super Game Boy, and your, um, or I was also playing Mario Paint on the go. Mario Paint, I should say. Because people get mad at me for some reason for saying Mario. I can't help it, man. Can't help it. Had to replace, yes, uh, I've had to replace several of the batteries in uh, some of my carts. Yeah, but that's not a big deal. That's that's easy. I've got all the gear. I got tons of soldering gear and everything else for that kind of stuff. I'm not worried about that. Um, for now on, though, when I replace it, I am going to replace it with just the holders, so that way I can put the carts in or the batteries in as I go. I know you're not supposed to do that in a way because they can shake loose. But honestly, if they shake loose and I lose the saves. It's not the end of the world. I'm actually going to get a save dumper. So that I can actually re-upload my saves to the carts um, for all my cart or for all my consoles, and just be done with it. So if the battery goes dead, who gives a shit, right? That's the next step.
Yeah, totally. That's the way to do it. It's just, then you don't have to stress about it. Come on, Gollum twins. Deja vu, anybody? Yeah, it's a good idea. I'm sorry I took you away from your painting and stuff there, man. I feel bad. I know you were getting your, get your room ready there. I didn't mean to do that to you. Glenn. Let's do a couple. Uh, let's do that, and let's do a Dino Tail. Let's do a Luminaire. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good, though. That means I did a good job keeping you entertained, right? Time flies when you're having fun. I don't have much longer, though, Set. Yeah, you got to see the lava's in the secret ending. Yeah, I know. The game's so good, man. Let's do lightning next, and then we'll... Dino tail. Ah, oh, that was a burp. Oh, he's doing a burp already. I killed him already. Jeez, didn't take any prisoners that time. All right, dead again. They beat me. The beat the Golem twins. All right, this calls for the Golem boss. It's that strange force. Could it be Lavo's energy? I bet it is. I got a bad feeling about this. All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. Dalton. This is your lucky day. Bye bye. Alright, up we go. Dude, don't jump over. Just to haul the mamma machine. Now's the time to turn back to you. <laughs> Anyways, got to die here now. You shan't allow thee to meddle with Lavo's queen. I'll come. Where's strong beast? You're... I am. You're right, Shala. Help! Shala! What are you doing, Shala? I'll be here. Calm down, queen. Chrono used the old man's knife to stop the machine. Chrono used red knife. What about he used a blue pill? Here we go, Mew. Ready, big brother? Pa ching Mass immune. A little bit different than Sephiroth's. Tis the mass immune. The mammon machine is coming. That's what she said. No, stop. That sword alone can't stop it. Now we gotta die, folks. But before I do, Isla's gonna Isla's gonna give him a kiss. Kiss him. Kiss him. Do it. Love. I love you, Lavos. I didn't care, unfortunately. Oh no! To, you know, I gotta take, gotta take the hits, gotta die. It's hard to die when you're just buffed. Boom, Chrono, you're dead. No, yeah, he is. Okay, one down. This should do it. I think, I think someone might survive it. Yeah, she did. She's just so strong. Look at her. It's like I don't want to die. Lavo Sigma, no gifts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No gifts at all. The Sigma male. Are you even a male if you have babies still yourself? I, I don't know. I think he's pretty... What's the word for it when you can basically... It's not asexual. It's something else. I've waited for this. Big re Big reveal. 
Magus. I've been waiting for you, Lavos. I swore long ago that I'd destroy you, no matter what the price. It is time to fill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos. What do you think you can do? Hmm, a false prophet. You'll be a great snack. Or you'll be a snack with the great Lavos. Mother, please stop. This power can only end in ruin. Get away from there, Shala. The almighty life force of Lavos lives in all of us. You're a part of it. You cannot change fate now. Oppose me and I'll destroy you also. Mom goals. Help. Is it asexual reproduction? Maybe it is asexual. Okay. Come, prophet. Feel the power of Lavos. Never did understand this attack he does. Ah, he does this weird, like... Attack like he was... I survived the darkness to defeat you, Lavos. Take this, Lavos. Ah, it's like... He uses his scythe and it kind of does something to him. What? It doesn't work? Yeah, it's like... Well, these days they might call it anything. <laughs> I know, Steph. I know, man. Ugh. Oh, can't keep track of it all now. Polish one, your measly power can't touch Lavos. It's from me to you. You shall enjoy eternal life as part of Lavos. Wahahaha. Magus, thou art mine to defeat. Stand up, Colonel. I let no like lose. Uh, I can't go into can't go into my menu and change my safe helmet. I haven't given up yet. What do you hope to do? You challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours? Wahahaha. <laughs> See the power of Lavos and feel his wrath. Zoom. I don't know what he's trying to achieve here. I never will understand. There's lightning. Desist Chrono. Chrono! I guess that's his soul. And he turns to ash. Chrono? Chrono! <gasps> Shocking. He's dead, Jim. He just lost the main character. The first time it happened, I was like, are you for real? I just lost the main character of the game? People talk about Aerith all the time. And it's just like, but Chrono actually dies, man. And he's the main character. I can't beat him. Lavos. And you realize Magus is just, the whole time, he's just trying to take out the Mammon Machine and Lavos. He's actually a good guy. This bottom of ocean, what can I do? I was the same way. But Magnus was... So cool at the t Yeah, oh yeah. The last of my penance power will send you to safety. I know you can't forgive her, but please don't hate Mother or our kingdom. I'm so sorry. Now off you go. Magus bows. Just like, oh man. Damn. Just drops to her knees again. Chrono. Terrible, man. Just terrible. It's the worst. Like, her life just sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I thought that was really cool, too. When the lasers come up through and it actually separates the land in the same pattern. Such a neat detail. Like this whole this whole part. Just so damn cool. These poor people. Just get wrecked, man. Yeah, that would have been cool set for sure. Definitely. Tidal wave. This is the tidal wave part. Such a cool tidal wave effect too. Might not seem like it. It might seem kind of silly to people watching nowadays. 
But that was a really neat way to look at a tidal wave coming closer to land. And this in and then out. Such a cool friggin' scene. No, Chrono, Chrono. Chrono, no, no, Chrono. I'm starting to notice pattern. Chrono. Oh, you're awake. You were delirious. Chrono, what hast thou done with Chrono? Found no one else. First Saurus and now Chrono. Yeah, poor frog, eh? Where this, this earthbound village? Did you notice that? Earthbound? This island was the only refuge left after the Ocean Palace disaster. Tis a pity. Melquire, where Melquire? When the disaster struck, an eerie black portal materialized. Melquire tried to save Janus, but he was also dragged in. A black portal, like the one we stepped through? That maid in Shala, whether has she gone? I don't know. No one ever seen her since. We know where she went if you play Chrono Cross. Where Epoch? Epoch alive? Your ship is quite sturdy and safe. It's almost as if it followed you here. Well, this must be yours. Tis the pendant Chrono kept. It was at your side like a guardian. Absolutely, Sep. Very, very cool use of sound, which basically was sample based. Really neat. Take all the time you need to rest. I'll be in the comments. But, but this fits on a cart, guys. Like, this game fits on a 32 mag cart, which 32 mag carts back then were rare as hell, right? They just were. So we've got two healers. I feel like we need a little bit more strength in here. Probably going to drop him. Get rid of him. Put our dog Tico in here. Gotta be her. It's just, I like the way she runs like a cat. It's just too cool. All right, here we go. Bye. He should move over, I think. Doesn't he? Doesn't he let me over? Check back with him because it's where it's varied from time to time. I think I have to buy something. Then he moves over? No? Okay, fine. I mean, they're pushing the limits. The cart really. Star Ocean had. Ex yeah, Star Ocean and um, Tales of Fantasia or Fantasy. Whatever the hell it is. One that has the. Uh, opening where it's um it's actual vocal voices we're at 905 now yeah i gotta i gotta get yeah i gotta get hold on i'm, I'm gonna say my goodbyes here anyways man all right so i'm gonna end it there um just gonna say it one more time i'm gonna say my goodbyes um so yeah thanks everybody who joined if you're watching this after effect you made it to this part leave a comment below uh that helps it get to a few more people and uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the secret ending of Chrono Trigger. We will be doing another stream at least of Chrono Trigger to basically, you know, get the last bit of stuff done. Um, probably, maybe it might be this week. I'm not sure. But I think it's pretty cool that uh, Kira Toriyama has a little reference in here. Of course, and he revolutionized um, so many things. And uh, I'd like to thank Akira again and say rest in peace. And... Uh, my condolences to his family and honestly i will never this message will never get to them but he changed my life so on that note thanks everybody we'll see you next time have a great evening and uh we'll yeah we'll see you next time let's go guys Very welcome, Seth, and everybody else. Have a great time.